you who were on our other stream. We appreciate your patience and technology can be an issue, but hopefully now this will take care of itself. Obviously, this is an audio stream. While you were away, the game did start 6.05 ago, 7 nothing. Marshall, but McLean has driven after the turnover, and Marshall was able to score. So, ball right here is going to be spotted. On a, there's going to be a uh, penalty for a personal foul, so that's going to move the ball back. We're going to see where they spot it. Um, obviously, thank you once again for your patience. We understand. You know, this is technology, and but we are ready to go. Ball is spotted on the 49. Second and 19. McLean lines up with two receivers to, to the left. We're back, and one man in the backfield. Now waiting. Waiting. Here's the snap. No look. Waiting, trying to find time pressure. He's going to throw a little looper, and it's going to be intercepted, but out of bounds. Number 23 there for Marshall Murray. Murray Murray there with the interception, but the ball was out of bounds, so it will be 30-19 from the 49-yard line of McLean's offensive half. Your quarterback for the McLean Highlanders is Jonathan P. And the Highlanders hoping that they can do something and get a another first down, continue this drive. Two men out, one man in the backfield. Snaps the ball, waiting, waiting. And it's going to be a handoff, actually, the number five for the Highlanders. And he'll get to about the 40. Chu with the uh, Joseph Chu there, but unfortunately, it's gonna be fourth down, and the Highlanders looking like they might go for it. Fourth and thirteen, ball on the forty-one yard line. They're gonna go for it. Marshall did go for it on fourth and one when we were away. And it's looking like the stream's going to hold up, so we have football. Hopefully, everybody's able to find us and we can continue this. Four receivers to, to a right, to the left. Number 14, he steps back. He's throwing his guy, man, wide open. And it is caught by the penalty flags. And they caught it. Unbelievable. And the Highlanders, if it stands at first and 10, and they might call something. Let's see. And it's a touchdown, actually. And the Highlanders have the first touchdown in the home field. It was a defensive pass interference on Wisconsin. Here we go. I'm sorry I did not get a number on that. But the Highlanders have a, have a touchdown, and they are one field goal away. Number three for the Highlanders. Matthew Limington trying to tie this game up. We are in business. Seven, six, seven. And he, and he, weighing the ass for a point. I wasn't sure for a moment what they were going to call, but the Highlanders, though, hey, they got the touchdown as they are waiting the extra point. There's a bunch of people. They did have a man downfield, a good throw, flags flying. You weren't sure what was, who was going to go against, but here we go. The extra point to tie the game. We on the snap. Here's the snap. It is up, and it is good, and we are tied. The Highlanders and Marshall State's men are tied at seven. We're glad that we got got back online for for that. Again, we do apologize for the technical issues, but we are rolling, and that is what is important. As the band plays its tune, and the Highlanders 
have life. Number three bat to receive for Marshall. It looks like that would be Nori Man. Nori Man. Although it could be a number of players. I believe that's number three. The blue, a little bit harder to see on the front. So there's going to be, and they're going to question all that after a crazy touchdown. But hey, we need a little bit of craziness, right? Hopefully, um, we can um, be able to find every, um, hopefully all of you can find us here. And we are rolling. So the so the penalty will be forced on the kickoff. Number three will be able to kick it off, and this should most likely be a touchback because it is on McLean's offensive yard at the forty-five. Awaiting the return is Marshall. If they get it, here's the kick, and this one's just going to be booted down field. So the Highlanders' defense here had a, had a little bit of trouble stopping the run. That was something that was an issue for them last year. But fortunately, they are tied at seven. In my talks with Coach Blair, he said that his team's improved. They have a new attitude. They, they're they not going to accept a close loss. They want to win games. They want to make the playoffs. Here, Marshall, they have three receivers, all of them to the left, but they're going to hand it off, and they're going to get almost up to the 30-yard line. Five yards on the running Run both teams want to run, but McLean wanting to be a balanced team. Ball is on the 25, excuse me, um, yardage. <laughs> but then again, mistakes do happen, just like Al Michaels last night, last night calling a window surface an iPad. Kind of funny there, but hey, everybody makes mistakes. A man in motion, number seven, he's going to hand it off the reverse, and the Highlanders are all over that. Number seven, the quarterback. Harrison. And the Highlanders here will make the stop in the backfield, and it's third and eight. A much better job on this from this option-heavy Marshall team who did lose last week. Beautiful night, no clouds in the skies, the lights turned on here at McLean High School. Receivers to the right and left. Fans are ready, waiting to see their team get the ball back and maybe take the lead. But first, there's going to be a timeout. So Marshall is going to take a timeout. They didn't like what they saw, and we're going to see how what that puts, how that affects this. Coach Blair bringing the boys in in red. They have red with white lettering, a silver helmet with a red and white stripe going across the top. Marshall in the white away uniforms with the blue and red, although their fans are wearing yellow. But obviously, hey, it's high school sports, you know. You can have different colors, although I do believe it is for a passing of of a um, Marshall statesman. And obviously, it's never good. But here's the snap, and McLean trying to go after a quarterback. He's going to run. He's going to run out of room. And they stopped him at half the point. 
He did get about to the 25-yard line. So it's going to be fourth and five, and the Highlanders have an opportunity. You know, for there have been a recent spike, unfortunately, in number of suicides at FCPS high schools. And that's something, you know, for those of you who are listening, who do know somebody, it's definitely important to get help. Now here's the... The kick, it's going to go about to the 40 in a fair catch call. And it, and McClellan will have first and 10, very good field position for about the 37. 7-7 seven, seven all, 3.45 to go. Thank you for tuning in on the McClain Broadcast Network. All will be spotted at the 39. So the Highlanders trying to... To take the lead for the first time in the season. Jumping Plage in ready for the for the snap. They have one man on the backfield and one man to the right. Marshall having a having a two men back scenario. And they do have their have a corner on the right side of the field. Ready for a snap. It's going to be a screen play. They get over to number five. He's going to go across the 40, getting to about the 43. Joseph Chu there with the reception. Highland ball on 43 yard line in second six. So, four yard pickup for the Highlanders. We are rolling. Highlanders looking like they're going to run again in a protective formation. They're going to hand it off and they're going to bulldoze their way for almost a first. Down. Let's see if they're going to give it to them. That's going to be close around the 48-yard line. They're going to set on the 47. It'll be third down and one for McLean. McLean getting fired. The band off to my left. The student section off to my right. They talked about, you know, being able to win the ground game. And that was very important. Number eight, setback, Rosemary for the Highlanders. Here's the snap. He's going to take it and try to get into the backfield, but he's not going to make it. Marshall got into the backfield. He was able to shake off the first couple tackles, but it will be fourth down and one. And McLean will bring out the punting unit. So an unfortunate event, but we are still tied. Hopefully the Highlanders can make the stop. Warp down. We will see what's awaiting. And the punt is a good one. And going all the way back to about the 20 before it'll be touched up and it'll bounce to about the 24 yard line. So a good punt by the Highlanders and giving them so, their defense a chance to work with, although their defense in the year with 135 to go on the first drive earlier in first quarter, they didn't the, the turnover as the ball slipped out of the quarterback's hand. So the Highlanders um, defense wasn't given a lot to work with there. So let's see if they can get the stop here for a second drive in a row. Ball. The ball will be spotted. They're gonna trying to get the right ball. <laughs> and so we're gonna see. They're discussing something. I think the placement of the ball. They're moving this way to back, and there probably was a fair catch. 
We gotta move this. Oh, this is good for the Highlanders. They're moving it back all the way to the 14th yard line of McLean's offensive zone. Now, Marshall won the toss and they elected to defer, so they will get the ball in the second half. Keep an eye on that. 7 7, 135 to go. Here's the run. And McLean will try to be, will be stuffed up. The ball. Getting a couple there. Ball about on the 18 for 19. Marshall's done a lot of run plays. McLean done a pretty good job of containing them. That is the important thing. Lights are on here in the press box. We're not going to make the mistake that we did of uh, maybe a raining. Of course, clear skies, it won't. Very beautiful day. Good day for football. And they're going to run it on an option play. All sorts of bodies. Hard to get a number but about up to the 19th they can't off double whatever i mean they're doing it all on the on this very heavy option offense but it is third and six so marshall might have to they're going to probably have to throw in this situation but this is high school sports and anything can happen a great crowd on hand and this is what I love about Highland Sports. It's always sold out. If For those of you who can't make it to the game, this is your best option. But if you can, it's an awesome atmosphere. Now here's the snap. They're going to look, look, finding number 22. But he's overthrown. And number 11 going into number 22. We'll get some numbers. Silva with a hit. Or Marshall. Excuse me, not Silva. That is... Number 11 for the Highlanders is Miles Colin. So Marshall will be forced to punt here. Now here's the kick. It's a good one up to about the, the 45. It'll be taken by number five who dances his way to the right side before getting burned over at about the 48. Not much room there. But the Highlanders here, you really see how they're not going to – they're they're looking always for holes. I mean, even though number five didn't have a good return, that is um, Chu who did a good job there. So after the end of the first quarter, the, the score, it is tied at seven as the clock ran out. And what's been a very interesting game and hopefully will continue to be. Now a no for halftime time. We're gonna try to make it so that we have a paper and our camera turned on that says that that tells you that we're in halftime. So so that I don't have to be doing a halftime report. Not that that's a problem, but so that. You know that we can just leave it and then you for mostly for your terms of purposes the viewers so that you are not wondering hey are we on are we live so that's pretty important for us um what an entertaining first quarter i mean the crazy touchdown play and after uh, when we were not on marshall scoring that was it was like what is going on for the Highlanders? Like, are they going to completely choke this up and be as bad as they were against Stonebridge, which doesn't mean that they're bad. just means that they're good. Second quarter started. They're going to try to run it, but no room. And he might have lost or just stayed at the uh, line scrimmage. No, McLean wasn't bad last week. They, they played with heart. They played with passion. But when you're playing against such a good team, Stonebridge, I mean, that's hard. That's hard. So, you've got to give it to the Highlanders for just keeping on, you know, battling on, even after delay. Ball on the – ball is on the 49, second 10. Number – I believe number – I have to see the number here. Who's in quarterback? It's not – 
It is 14. He's going to try to scramble. And it's probably going to be third down and 10, excuse me. Number 14, Jonathan Fleisch with the one touchdown throw for the Highlanders. And that ball is just going to be, it will be third and 10. between spot between the 48 and 49, so a loss of a couple inches. He tried to get in the pocket, but the offensive line collapsed. But, again, this is the second game of the season. Both teams coming off of the loss in their opener. Now we're going to have a timeout called. So third and 10, 10.43 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Between the 48th and 47th. Although you can just call it third and ten, I'm not gonna have third and nine in a uh, sixth of an inch or something. <laughs> so, uh, hey, we we try to keep keep our uh, commentaries entertaining. Um, we, if you like to, if you would like to contact us, you can go to. At, you can tweet us at McLean at um, MHS Broadcast Net out of the timeout. That is on Twitter. They have a couple of receivers and man the backfield. Number 14 looking, looking. Pockets collapsing. He's going to look, he's going to look, and he is going to throw out of bounds after going down. Number 93, but this one's going to be an issue. Number 93 gave it to his face. For Marshall, he went up and made extra aggression. And the Highlanders will catch a break. We're going to see what's going on, what where the ball will be spotted, seeing if this is 10 or 5. There's number... No flag on the play. 93, but I believe Olo Goodman, number 91, Molay. But after consideration, it will be fourth and 10. The uh, Highlanders will be forced to punt for a second time in a row. And after initially throwing the flags for a little bit of extracurricular activity, they decide we can let it go. It's great to see all the um, young kids out wearing red, no matter what color it is. It's great to see future Highlanders. So the Highlanders will be forced to punch. And here we go. Fourth and ten. Number three, that will be number three to punch. But it's sent down and will go to about the 20, the 15, close to the 10, and they will be at the 10. What a punt. What a punt. Amazing job at punting, and the Highlanders defense has plenty of room to work. Here with 10 25 to go. Now on the out of town scoreboard, Langley, of course, the biggest rival is losing. This forces this will, and now Marshall will take over. They're going to try to run it, and they're going to get outside, getting over the twenty number seven there with the carry, Harrison. And this will be first and ten for Marshall. So again, that that a uh, high option powered offense here can give can give some problems. I mean, you know, you you think about high school and college, you know that I mean they can vary their offenses. So it'll be first and ten. Ball spotted all the way at the 
six-yard line for the Highlanders. Tied at seven, 10-18 to go. Once again, a lot of guys crowd in tight for, for Marshall, and they're going to love trying to get it. But McLean staying home with the quarterback, number seven. Harrison, the quarterback for Marshall, did not give it off this time. And, and the Highlanders were able to able to stop it. So the Highlanders doing a good job of, of making the stop. Now here they're going to pinch it off. And the Highlanders get him in the backfield. A great job, number 52. Standing into the backfield for the Highlanders, that is Matthew Shaheen. And now it will be third and a long. To be more accurate, third and 17. So the Highlanders defense really showing up, and you can see they have a bit of fight. They have the want, they have the will. Two receivers, two one to the right, one to the left. Large pocket, number seven stepping back, but he's got pressure. He's going to throw, and there's going to be a flag. So they do get the number 22 for Marshall, but we're going to see if this goes against McLean. There were flags thrown. We're going to make a decision here. We are waiting on the referees. Both teams conferencing. Number 22, by the way, for Marshall, Eric V. It's a crazy last name with a couple of V's and two U's in a row. But if you learn one thing, last names, they can be hard to say. So this is going to – the Highlanders are holding penalty. So – and that's going to cost them – it's going to be first and 10 from the 46. I mean, penalties are just starting to become a little bit of an issue, especially that one with nine minutes to go in the first quarter. You want to get your offense back out, especially with Marshall here. And here's a pass play, and they're going to get up to about the 48 of their own, and they get into offensive territory for the statesmen. A fun, low-scoring game. Seven all. I mean, you were kind of worried that Marshall might run away with this, but definitely not. That's the Highlanders. Marshall and their student section. There's number seven. He's going to throw and then hit hard. But that's probably going to be enough for a first down. Number 22 wanting a penalty, and Marshall is moving. Number 22 with the reception once again, Eric V. So Marshall, they have a great student session now. It's always it's cool, you know, when you're the visiting team and you get to go to the opponent's house. So... We're going to see what's going to be the issue. What McLean can do is they're going to try. Marshall hands it off and gets a couple there. Seeing if McLean can. So it'll be second since a four yard pickup. Marshall in a very. Option heavy offense, although they have a man to the deep left and are now a man in motion. The handoff, and they're going to push the pile forward, and they're going to get a first down. Number 26 for Marshall. Joshua Holbert. So it'll be first and 10 from the 29. They're going to try to push the pile forward, and they might get two. And it will be approximately seven and eight. 
band is down. Now we and it will be second eight for the halftime show, and they are not in their band uniforms probably because it is very warm, but comfortable. Those are pretty heavy, heavy uniforms, and you work up a sweat. Two men in motion, number seven. There's going to be a flag, and this one's going to come probably be coming back for most likely a legal motion. Let's see what the penalty is, but I believe that was a legal motion having a couple runners. We're going to discuss this officiating crew. 6.45 to go, 7-7, seven, seven, but the state's men are driving. They do have the ball to start the second half. Hopefully, it won't be too much of an issue for the Highlanders. Ball is on the about the 31, 32 actually. And it will be uh, first and 12. So the penalty, second 13, the penalty did go against Marshall. And now a timeout call. 6.32 to go. The Highlanders and Statesmen are tied at seven. A bit of a low scoring affair. No, if you're at the game, Game, a great place to check out is the Mini Donuts with a former Highlanders teacher, Miss Manet, and another Highlanders teacher. So currently I'm clean, and they are extremely tasty. I'm going to have to go get some during halftime, obviously. <laughs> they are really good. So if you ever come by McLean High School for varsity football game, home game, head down. Find those donuts, they are tasty. Out of the timeout, second and 13. Band game ready to play their halftime show. Hopefully, it can all work. Marshall having three receivers, two to the left, one to the to the right, and a man in the backfield. They're looking downfield. They're going to try to throw. It's going to be caught and drop. Number 26, Holbert. Joshua Holbert couldn't handle the pass. And the Highlander came bursting down on him. Promise all the technical issues should be worked out by next week, and we hopefully will have it since 40 start time. Like I uh, had mentioned earlier, technologies are dealing with deal. Third and 13, three men now, one man in the backfield, seven will drop back, looking, they're gonna try to throw it, and he had a man wide open. And the Highlanders catch a lucky break to pass over the throne by Harrison. Although the Highlanders did have men coming in on a blitz. And it will be 4th and 13. They're going to try ahead. But with 6.3 to go, this will be about... A little less than a 40-yard field goal attempt. Fourth and 13, ball and 32. This one is going to go way, way low. A line drive kick. And for those of you who remember the last last year's, year's game, they went for a fourth and down, and they did not put their kicking team out. If they had made the field goal, then, then, I, then, the, then Marshall would have won. So it's always very interesting with high school sports. And you can't help but feel bad for Marshall. Up until last year, they had four they had four years in a row where they did not win a single game. And their fans obviously coming out in great support tonight 
ever going 0 and 1, and it's great to see support. High school football, it's like no, none other. I mean, Friday night lights, and that's why we're excited. Two men to the to the right, Highlanders going from left to right. They're going to hand it off, but then it's going to be throw a play action. They have a man up field, and he can't get it. Number 88. Number 38, excuse me, I believe, on that play. Let's see. Campion. Paul Campion, just a half step out. He tried to reach for it. And that could have given the Highlanders an opportunity. Highlanders, they're going to go. Two receivers to the left. To the right, excuse me. Nobody in the backfield. A man in motion. It's going to be a handoff to number two, but he got stuffed. And that will take him back to maybe about the 20, 21, 22. Third and 11 for the Highlanders. No team's been able to really take advantage of turnovers or missed opportunities. The Highlanders will have four receivers. Field two to the left, two to the right. Ball on the 19-yard line. Go hike it. Here comes the blitz, and he's going to get pushed over a bunch of a player back. 22 to go in the second quarter. The Highlanders will be forced to punt. <laughs> Hopefully, this will not be an issue. Number 23 bad to return for the Statesmen. And here's the snap, the kick. It's a good one going up. It's going to be a drop in. It'll go to the 40. So, not a bad kick for the Highlanders. I mean, number two. Number two, the. Excuse me, number three, Livingston, the kicker. Also, doubling as the punter for the Highlanders. Doing an excellent job on special teams. Now here, the snap. They're going to look for Marshall. And it is going to be almost intercepted and then almost caught. Oh, my goodness. Number 14 found. Number 23 open. Murray. July Murray. And then the Highlanders. Number 8. Almost that chance to pick that off. Romary. Leslie, oh, that, that really, he's got to feel bad, but, I mean, that one went right into his left hand, and he couldn't make the ground that went right back. That's one of the stranger plays. 438, they're going to try to move the line, but only for about two. It will be third and ten now. With about 424 to go. Ball spot on the 37th. So the Highlanders trying to stop Marshall with 410 playing time to maybe, you know, do something here. <laughs> we haven't seen scoring since second quarter. Now here, number seven is going to pass downfield. Number 11. 11, and it is. Intercept. No, it's caught. And the Marshall Statesman made a, a great play down there. Same type. I wasn't sure if that was going to be intercepted or not or what the deal was. Number 11 for the Highlanders on the carry. Collins. And that is something. You go back to last week where the same sort of situation happened. Almost a could have been interception, but take for a touchdown. And the Highlanders defense has some work to do. 
354. Remember, Marshall does get the ball back, so this could be a critical stop for the Highlanders. Now here's the snap, and they're not going to get anything. The ball was caught about the goal line. 7-7, 340 to go. Second goal on the one. Highlanders trying to make a huge, huge, cr crucial stop. Second one, but 321. I don't know if you stopped Marshall four times. We'll have to see. They have done it in the past. They're going to try to hand off again to number seven. And it's going to be, they just get enough. So Marshall with 310 to go, get the touchdown. And there's a down Highlander on the player. Somebody's down. The statement saying that we will, I believe that we will win. And there's a down somebody that's either a Marshall player or a referee. You hope it's never a referee, and I believe it is a referee in the in the uh, defensive area trying to go up and make a call, and that's never good. Um, we hope that he's okay, obviously, just gets the wind knocked out of him. Um, the trainers for the Highlanders are out there, so hopefully it'll be all right. So the Highlanders give up a touchdown, 13-7. We do have an injured referee. And they're attending to him. Can't really see there's a whole lot of bodies. And we're just hoping that he's going to be all right. Talking, I believe he is up. Just shaking up, talking to the Highlanders train staff. And it's good to see that he is on his feet in the end zone right now. We're going to see if he has to come off. Three ten to go, thirteen seven. Statesmen, Marshall Statesmen, with a touchdown after a impressive catch at the one, trying to give them a two touchdown advantage. As a reminder, we will mute our audio during the halftime, during halftime, so that so you can step away for a little bit, but it'll be. About a 15 or 20 minute wait. Hopefully, there won't be an issue. The referee, he's okay. Here's the snap, and it is going to be good. So it's 14 7, 3 10 to go. Statesmen on top by touchdown. They, and this is going to be a very critical drive. And Coach Blair, he's going to. Have his work cut out for him. You don't want Marshall to get the ball with the lead to start the second half. Remember, remember, they did defer, as we talked about earlier. So this will be a uh, very interesting situation here with the Highlanders regrouping, seeing what they're what they can do. The Highlanders getting ready. The color guards passing us as they prepare. They're in uh, t-shirts and shorts. It's too warm to wear the uh, uniforms tonight. Although it is starting to cool down. I mean, a gorgeous game day. No clouds whatsoever in the sky. This is perfect football weather. Exactly what you want. I mean, both student sections hyped. And it's 14-7. Number eight will receive for the Highlanders, Rosemary. And here we go. Here's the kickoff. And this one's going to sail all the way into the end zone. And it will be a touchback. As I think number eight wanted to maybe run it out, Rosemary. So we'll see how the Highlanders can do it 
do on this drive. This is a very important drive. Obviously, you want to, with 3.10 to go, you have plenty of time. But this may have to be a quick passes, couple runs. You do have time, and you do have time out. So the issue is trying to score at least a field goal. Blitz is coming. He's going to try to throw, getting the number 13 off first down for the Highlanders. He's almost sacked. Number 14 hitting hard, but he a good job for Highlanders. Jonathan Leitch, the quarterback, body number 23, Lavery, Nathan Nathaniel there, and the Highlanders are in business. No huddle, a low snap. They get the Lavery again. He makes the man miss. He's up close to the 50 and about at the 49. Another first down. Are you kidding me, Lavery? Lavery. It doesn't matter, folks. The Highlanders doing some quick passes. And with 2.47 to go, now they are in business. Here's the snap. Working back. They're going to throw it. They're looking for number five. It is gone. It's gone. Out down at the 15. And play. Now there is a flag. And let's see what's going to happen here. They're going to, and I think this is going to go against the Highlanders. Oh, my goodness. Not what you wanted. They're going to discuss this, but they're, no, they're going to mark out the 16. So, I guess no penalty. They're discussing something. The ball is marked on the 16th. A huge reception. Number five, five for the Highlanders, Shoe Joseph. And now, yeah, they're going to call a penalty. So that moved the Highlanders back. Although, they, well, yeah, now the referees are going to gonna pick up the ball. The fans below us, not very appreciative. And they're going to mark this back at the 32. So let's see. Excuse me, the 31 yard line. So it will be unsportsmanlike conduct. Now you remember that that little incident when Marshall did something that could be considered unsportsmanlike, but you know you don't always get the calls. And another low snap, number 14 is going to throw, and number 13 can't hold on. It will be second and ten, over from 31 yard line for Highlanders, although. And a uh, number five down there for the Marshall Statesman. Number nine, excuse me, tied his shoe. And here we go. Three receivers. Three to the left, two to the right, one man on the backfield. Hopefully nothing bad, a good snap. Number 14, he's going to throw. And that one is way overthrown. A double team coverage. And, and it falls into the end zone. So now... With 2.22 to go, there's definitely a question, what do you do? You don't have to go for the end zone. I mean, it's not about forcing anything. The last thing you want is a turnover. You are about, maybe about 50-yard field goal at this point. Possible. But the Highlanders with five receivers out, two to the right, three to the left. Here they go. Two-man blitz. They're going to throw. They find number 13. And that might be just enough for a first down. I believe that is number 13 with the reception. But for the Highlanders, once it's after Golan, not Lavery. My bad. 2-11 to go. Here's the snap. Five receivers. He's going to look up. He's going to throw. Oh, no! Almost a touchdown. Number two. Slipped out of his hand for the Highlanders. Robin. That will be Robinson. Michael Robinson and the Highlanders on will have it being second and ten on their own 16. I mean, that ball just slipped out. It's a low catch. 
already. Once again, we will be having a 20-minute break. We will mute the mute the uh, volume, and we'll try to get a uh, our camera up for a low budget operation. Now there is a penalty, and this old oh, man Marshall has made a mistake, and it's going to be first and five. And the Highlanders, well, catch you a break just like Marshall caught a break. Here we go. Four receivers to the right, to the left. They looking, looking, stepping up in the pocket. And could have been intercepted, number five. And that will be for Marshall. Excuse me, number nine. Gambley, the third. 158. Gonna be second and two here for the Highlanders. Now here we go. They're looking. Number 14. Looking. He's gonna try to run. He's got a throw touchdown. Highlanders number two. On Wisconsin. Drop it dead. Number 14. White shot his clutch. I thought he's gonna take off, but he found his man Marshall going for the pick. The cowbells are ringing, and you might just be able to hear the band going crazy. It's 13 14, and like I said, this was maybe one of the more important drives for the Highlanders. And we are right back in business. Here's the snap, and the field goal is up, and it's good. So the Highlanders drive it all the way down the field for a huge touchdown and now will be up to Marshall see if they can answer before the half although they do get the ball starting so the Highlanders obviously knowing that this was huge and I'm sure there's a very happy coach down that sideline The Highlanders looking to try to maybe get a stop on Marshall, sending the special teams even it out. Robinson with the touchdown for the Highlanders, but Livingston, his goal obviously is to try to get the Highlanders a victory. And he can do that right now with a good kick. He's had a been great punting and great kicking tonight. And this one will go to about the 10 and taken out across to the 20, to the 30, and wrapped up about the 32-yard line. Excuse me, the 27-yard uh, line. Across the 25 to 27. First and 10, and Marshall with 146 to go. 90 seconds of change. Defense trying to get a huge stop. Highlanders, they're pumped up. We're all tied at 14. Here we go. Bath, they're going to try to pass it, but with Highlanders in their face. Number 23, the reception. Murray, he's been a big target for Marshall tonight. But with pressure in the for the Highlanders defensive line, which has done a good job against a option heavy team, but right now it's all passing. But except for now, they're gonna run and they get maybe about one, maybe two. So it'll be third and as much as third and eight. Third and eight on for the statesmen. They have two receivers and a man on the backfield, two receivers to the right. Looking downfield, they're going to take off, and they're not going to make a number seven. But he keeps going, and let's see where it's going to be marked. I thought they had a wrap on him. 
Harrison, and let's see, and it's going to be fourth down. But there might have been a, uh, a penalty that I did not see. The ball is still being marked back, and oh boy, Marshall, I mean, penalties have played a crucial role. I mean, Harrison almost had a first down, and then they're going to call a penalty against the statesman. That moves all the way back to about the 11. No, excuse me, the uh, 14. The 14th yard line. So the Highlanders, their second huge break. I mean, penalties have played such a crucial role in this game. Yeah, now yeah, they're yeah. trying to blitz the quarterback, number seven. He's going to look. He's going to throw it out field, but out of bounds. And the Highlanders are going to get the ball back with a minute and change, about 67 seconds to go. And this will be huge. And obviously, Marshall, they're not going to try to do anything. It's fourth and 23. I mean, Clay's defense, I mean, they have just been outstanding tonight. Only allowing two touchdowns. I mean, really only one big play. They're getting to the quarterback, especially in the second quarter. And they've given their offense, I mean, good field position. That's what you want. And this ball will be spotted down. It's going to be his number eight. And then he's able to get on top of that. Good heads up play. And that, that would have been costly if the Highlanders had, had um, not come up with that by number eight. Wesley Rose, Rosemary. So the Highlanders are first and ten. They're going from left to right, and the ball is on the 48th yard line of their own of their um, excuse me their own offensive zone. Off, offensive now here 14. He's gonna throw. He's trying to find Dolan. Oh, it's gonna be almost intercepted. He's got a fingertip on it. Patrick Dolan, a little frustrated with himself, and but there's an injured. Oh boy, there's an injured, injured uh, statesman number nine, and that's never what you want to see. Gamble the third, and he and he's agony. He's he's in some pain on his. I believe it's right ankle and he wasn't putting any pressure on it he must have come down funny on that but he's gonna get up and walk to the sideline so obviously never good for injuries but it's good that he got up and he'll, he'll be all right now the highlanders um, had a couple injuries, but just muscle injuries that are not an issue as a water bottle completely explodes on the field at around the 50-yard line, and McLean is in business. Ball in the 48. Second 10, 52 seconds to go. Chance to take the lead. Looking, looking, trying to find a find. Dolan, and he goes across the 30. To about the 27, and the Highlanders have a have a uh, well, move the chain chains here, and they are in business. High timeout on the field for the Highlanders. Make a PA announcement about ever famous Officer Davis <laughs> from the funny. From the funnier guys, school resource officer. Anyways, today you came in um to my math class, asked you what's going to the game. It's, it's great when you have have people who administration and police officers who are part of the school, part of the, the family, and that's great to have him here at McLean High School. One of Fairfax's finest. First and ten, ball in the twenty-nine yard line. Now they could probably try a field goal, but it's gonna be a far one. So 
They, but they do have time. 44 seconds to go until we head to the break. We have about a 20-minute break. We'll mute the audio and try to use an old-fashioned way of telling you that's the halftime show. Hey, it's all right being low budget. This is the McLean Broadcast Network. Anyway, first and 10. No pressure coming. Number 14 is going to throw. And this one is going to be almost caught. That could have been an interception, but then almost a touchdown. Number 14 airing it out. A good job. A quarterback. Job in place. Trying to make the Highlanders go in front. 36 seconds to go, so you're definitely going to have to manage the clock. So you do have at least one timeout to work with. This is Snap looking. They're going to try to throw it. Oh, Patrick Dolan, amazing grab. He went up high, and he caught it on the jump. And it's down to about the 11. And the clock stops. He did step out bound. Oh, he's actually going to not be around the 11. will be around the 14-yard line, 15-yard line. First and 10. Here we go. Four receivers, two to the right, two to the left. Here's the snap. The pressure. He's going to step up. He's going to run. And he's going to get down to about the 11. Clock is taking 22 seconds to go. And the Highlanders take a timeout. Clock management. Question is, you have about maybe two plays to try to get to the end zone. If you if you don't make it, and there's about 10 sets to go, obviously a field goal would be the more appropriate choice. It would, so be, just because you don't, you would love to come out of here with points going to halftime with your first lead of the campaign. It's been an entertaining game. Matthews work with you. Here, 22 sets to go. Tied at 14. The Highlanders and Marshall State's men. The secondary robbery for both of the, these teams. McLean, obviously, their big rival, Langley. They don't play them until the final game. You can hear it live here on the McLean Broadcast Network, your official home and your only home for all live sports for McLean High School. We are excited. We are in in really our first season. We did a couple games last year, and we can't wait until we can get some other people on to do a bit of co-commentating for you. But anyway, the moment's at hand. 22 seconds. Four, five receivers out. He's going to throw, trying to get it to number five, and he gets it down to about the five. Chu with the reception. Joseph Chu and Patrick Dolan, the big the big targets here with 17 seconds to go. And the important thing is that he got out of bounds. That's what you want. You want to get out of bounds to prevent the clock from running. Here we go. They're looking. He's going to try to air it out, and he just forced to throw it away. Number 44 on the pressure. Thirteen seconds to go, and they're, I believe, going to bring the field goal unit out. Not going to try for one last play. As it's second and seven. Kind of surprising that maybe you wouldn't, but I guess it is a game of chance. And and McLean's head coach is like, we don't want to take it. Number three to give. Number three for Highlanders Livingston. Trying to give them the lead. It's up and it is good. Livingston and the Highlanders with nine seconds to go. They'll most likely take the lead into the locker room. Livingston. One for one on the field goal attempt. Make, he's been a big punter and a big kicker, I mean. He's really been amazing for the Highlanders. Talk about guys like Patrick Dolan, Tom, um, 
Horseshoe, Joseph, Collins, Kyle, and Patrick Dolan. They're all great, but you need a great kicker and puncher. And that's what Livingston has provided for the Highlanders tonight. So the Highlanders working to trying to go into a locker room with the lead. They have their first lead of the 2015 campaign. And it'll be kicking off number three, Livingston. Fans are starting to file out, trying to go get some food. That's how time approaches. This one goes down to about the 10, and it'll run out to about the 15. He's going to make it all the way to the 20. Showing speed to the 30. My goodness. And he's up to about the 40 with one second to go. 41-yard line. I and now the question is, do you take a knee going to the halftime? Now, you do have the ball to start for Marshall. McLean did defer. What a game. What a game so far. 17-14. Good amount of defense, a good amount of offense. So, we'll see you on the other side at halftime. And the question is, is he going to be... A knee, a kneel, or a run, or a pass. Let's see what they do. They're going to drop that. They send five wide out. Number seven. Here, he's working, and they're going to make the pass complete, and there's going to be a penalty, and it might be roughing the, the passer, but that will take us to the half halftime, I believe. As the team starting to walk off the field. So that will do it for the first half, 17-14. I believe they are going off the penalty. Oh, right. Penalty. Um, thanks for listening. We will mute the the volume and try to get a a low key function as we are here on the Highlands Broadcast Network. A way to tell you that is halftime. Time halftime will go for about 15 to 20 minutes. We'll be back with you on the other side. 15 minutes on the clock, and that it will be. You are listening to to your home for the 2015 2015 Highlands Broadcast Network. From your home for McLean football.
And welcome back here to the start of the second half. The Marshall State's men have just taken the field to follow. It will be your McLean Highlanders. Now, the State's men here will start the second half with the ball. They deferred, and but fortunately, the McLean Highlanders are leading 17 14. A pretty interesting first half. A, a, uh, a fumble by the Highlanders resulted in a touchdown for Marshall, but then McLean was able to come back, tie the game, then Marshall took the lead, and then McLean tied it, and then were able to get the go-ahead touchdown. So we will see what this second half means as the Highlanders are about to take the field. The band to see the prep band will See what the how the band is going here as the Highlanders take the field. Hopefully, a couple more on with Dodson. We have two here at home. A half house here tonight. Um, definitely have to give Marshall students credit. They came out in numbers. So the Marshall statesmen able to keep this game close. Missed opportunities. Penalties played. A big issue. Missed opportunities. McLean, um, one of the things that we noticed in in the Stonebridge game that did not as affect them as much was the was a um low snaps. And that was definitely something that you're gonna have to keep an eye out for for the Highlanders. So we're gonna begin. Here momentarily. Thank you for uh, waiting through the um, the halftime. If you'd like to contact us, contact us on Twitter at MHS Broadcast Net. That is again at MHS Broadcast Net. Follow us on Twitter and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. That would be great. You know, we're trying to grow this network, and we are super excited. We've already had some great moments. And we'll be right back here next Friday for the next McLean High School game of the season. So we'll definitely see yours about one minute and 45 seconds until kickoff. Marshall Prey pumped up and playing. They're going to try to make a defensive stop, and then go on the offense. Coach Blair and his coaching staff down. They're doing a terrific job keeping this team in it. And what a great game it has been so far between these two teams. Close. Lots of offense. Lots of defense. Not really anything um, – too short of average, especially last year. I mean, it's a close game. So Marshall will receive the kickoff momentarily. We will um have have that for you in a little bit. But um, for McLean, definitely want to be able to make the most of drives. They need to be able to drive the ball downfield, not have penalties, which there were plenty of in first half. For both sides, going at um, good crew down on the field. The referees doing a good job tonight. Um, here's Marshall is taking the field, and McLean would do so shortly. And now they do. Hey, folks, if you're a McLean alum, next weekend is the 60th anniversary. So, so this year it is the uh, 50 anniversary of the Plain High School for all alumni. They have events here, and it's definitely great to be an alumni or a student tuning in. This is the future of Highlander sports. Both student sections, chat, ready for a kickoff. Number three. Livingston, Matthew Livingston, the kicker. And this second half is underway, and it goes down to about a 10 and 
He'll take it out for Marshall, running up the middle, now down the right sideline. And he's not going to be stopped. He's going to a 40 and almost to half, almost halfway. I mean, Lane needs that. That was definitely a concern on that kickoff of the last half. They got good field position. Now they do, and not letting their defense really do anything. So definitely be good to keep away from him. We about be. But now there's a penalty, and it'll be a legal block in the back. So McLean, they're going to have the ball all the way. Let's see where they spot it here. Down, uh, not on 20. And now we're going to have it on the 15. So it, it goes from about almost the 50 all the way back to the 15. So it'll be first and 10 in the Highlanders defense. Now is their time to make you of this great opportunity. Here we go, first and ten. Well, two receivers outside, each side for Marshall. We're back, ready. This guy got extra ball off the field. Football is only played with one. One man in motion. They're gonna. Hand it off, and he's going to get some speed number 23, and then a big hit put on by none other than Patrick Dolan on number 23. Murray got all of that one for the Statesmen and the Highlanders. Well, doing a good job. Let's see if he got anything. Got about half yard. It'll be second and nine. Highlanders, they've done some great stuff on all sides of the ball. Now here's the handoff, and he's just going to be stuffed by the great Highlanders defense. I mean, this team's gotten better. Stopping the run, running the ball, passing it, short passes, long passes. The Highlanders have improved. Once again, you talk about that new attitude from play, not giving in, not giving up. That is what their goal is. And, and now it'll be third down and seven. And they'll be forcing Marshall to throw. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Dropping back in coverage. He's going to try to scramble, and he goes down. A sack. A whole bunch of Highlanders, the defensive line. I mean, doing a great job for this team, and we got a down Marshall player. So McLean doing a good job of making a three and out situation. Number 78 for the Statesman. Down Green, Nathaniel Green. Down and. He's hurt somewhere. He's kind of leaning on his helmet. And now he's over on his back. Both sets of trainers out for his both. And he's definitely concerned. Never never like to see that happen. But football is a dangerous game. But he has gotten up a little woozy. Not limping or anything. He could have suffered a concussion. But hopefully he'll be all right. Walking slowly over on his own power. And he'll be... Fourth down, and the Highlanders, number five, will be back to receive. Joseph Shu. he's had a big night. 10-20 to go here in the first, second half, excuse me, third quarter. 17-14, McLean, McLean with the first lead of the season after falling 42-6 to Stonebridge, but the I see, but if there was a silver line, they did not allow a single point in that game. Here's a kick more of a line drive, and they're just going to let this one bounce. A little bit of chippiness, but no call. So the Highlanders will have the ball inside, actually right on the 50. So... First down and 10 as the medical team tend to any injured players. Glenn High School's got a great football program here. 
And it's great once again to see this whole crowd as I look over from the press box up here to see all these students and all the fans, everything that represents the red, silver, black, and white of the Highlanders. One man in the backfield. Here's the snap number 14. He's going to throw it long. Oh, boy. That's intercepted. Overthrow it. And Tom Shu, excuse me, Patrick Dolan, stopped running in. The quarterback, Jumping Fleisch, thought he would. So, so Marshall and the Statesmen have the ball on the, or about the 15 yard line there. Not good field position, but an opportunity for the playing defense, which I've really shown there, and definitely there'll be something that, that they're gonna have to talk about on the uh sidelines to see what happened there. Patrick Dolan stopped running and flushed through like he thought he would, and nobody there made for an easy interception for the statesman. 10 01 to go, 17 14 Highlanders. Highlanders doing a good job stop Marshall on the first drive, but then an interception on a just a bad play. So they're going to try to move it, and Marshall able to muster a couple yards, maybe about four on the carry. So it'll be, I'm going to say, second. See where they mark the ball about three, three yards. It'll be. Actually, second and five, actually, here on what is a beautiful night here in Northern Virginia. Right now, 73 degrees. It's going to go down into the low. It's going to go down the high 60s tonight. Here's Marshall. They're going to hand off, off and get a couple, and it will be about 32 trying to get a, a first down. They talked about opportunities and mustard opportunities, and this could be costly for the Highlanders, but the defense, they've been good tonight. Huge stop on their last possession to start the second half in the third quarter. But, I mean, I cannot state once again how nice the weather is and how great it is to be out here. I mean, perfect conditions, not hot or cold. Been a little bit humid, but it's D.C., Third and one. They're going to hand it off. And they're number 22. He's going to get the first down before being tackled about the 33 yard line. Six yards on the pickup. 32 yard line. Don't forget, next Friday night, right here on the Flight House with 7 p.m., we face the dreaded Madison Bulldogs. The Highlanders attempt to attack revenge. To the Highlanders, it will be first down and 10. And they're going to hand off for Marshall, which is a scrum pile. Like that one, but there's a fumble, and the Highlanders recover. And who could have expected this? Oh, my goodness. And the Highlanders have the ball inside a 40 yard. Wow. Who could have thought about this? So McLean has the ball back. With 8.10 to go. Wow. That was a big pile scrumming. You know, anything can happen. Ball's on the 35-yard line. And just like Marshall got a break, McLean gets a break with, and can maybe get at least get up by six if they're careful. Marshall, a big defensive stop. Placing in the shotgun. He has a couple receivers. He's going to hand it off. And... He'll just get back to the line of scrimmage, the McLean runner number five. Shoe on the carry. To the Highlanders, second down and 10. Ball on the 35. 7.47 to go, third quarter. No, it's high school sports. I mean, any day the, a team can win. And we've had some 
very close game. Here we go. Hiking at Loki, number 14. He's going to scramble. He's going to throw. And, and he kind of man, but covered very well by number 27. That was sharp, I believe, on the coverage for Marshall. That ban for both, for excuse me, not both shirts uh, for Marshall. They're doing their thing. So Highlanders here. Four receivers, three to right, one to two to the left. That makes five. Number 14, he's going to throw. He finds his man. And then the ball is dislodged, and Marshall's going to have the ball back. And let's see what they're going to rule here. And they're, uh, yeah, they're going to say it was a fumble. It looked like he caught it. So turnover to the turnover with 7 15 to go. Well, they get the ball right back. That was not what they wanted. So. The completion and then it slipped out of his hands. Marshall fits up at the 20, 21 yard line. Looking to score, and there's going to be an offside, and Marshall is going to get that five. And McLean, well, he talked about, you know, we talked about penalties so much in this game. Crucial little mistakes like that, and offside, a man didn't move. But well, wait a second. They're going to call it on McLean. I didn't see the movement. Wow. And I don't think McLean's happy. It looked like Marshall moved, but obviously the ref saw what they saw and they ruled it. So nothing you can do about it. Here we go. They're going to hand it off, and they're going to get a whole bunch. That's number five, Christian Number five with the carry. Lead from Marshall, Camino. So the Highlanders trying to stop, and they're going to see if that's a first down or not, and it will not be. It'll be about second one after a penalty that goes against McLean. But instead, though. Now they'll actually change the ruling. It will be first and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. McLean trying to stop the defense. They've done a good job. They forced a fumble recovery, but then another fumble. And there's a massive brawl. <laughs> a little bit of a pile-up. And that might get about two or one. Not brawl, but <laughs> more of a pile-up. The Highlanders defense. It's a good job protecting the inside. So let's see where they rule it. It'll be approximately second nine or second eight. Six point six to go. Seventeen fourteen. McLean. We're trying to see where they're going to spot this ball. To me, it looked like you only got one on the carry, but they're going to spot it. And it is gonna. And is there a penalty? I guess there is a penalty. I didn't see any flags, but in the craziness of high school football, McLean, it's gonna be first and fifteen. How about that? I mean, all penalties are like crazy. You don't know who's it's going against, and you think it's gonna be second and nine instead of first and fifteen. 6.23 to go. A man in motion. They're going to hand it off. No quarterback will take it. No, he handed it off. And there's going to be a, well, it looks like number two, number seven for the Highlanders and Statesmen having a little bit of a blocking dispute. So the Highlanders only allowing two yards there, second 13. Really doing a great job of just blocking up the middle. That's what they want. Blocking up the middle, not allowing it to be too much. 
Now he gets the handoff. He'll go outside, getting a whole bunch and tripped up oh, at about the 39. So the Highlanders, the Highlanders here will have to make the stop. It'll be third and a couple. Third and two. So the Highlanders trying to get a big stop. Their defense really been good in this third quarter, stopping them. And with 513 to go, here we go. They hand it off, and McLean is going to stop them. Our fourth down, a good job by number 52, getting into a backfield, helping out. That would be Matthew Shaheen helping out, and then Tom Shu coming in there. And it'll be fourth down, and let's see if they're going to punch it or not. I think they're going to go for it. They will. So this is going to be good field position for our first down. Here we go. Everybody on their feet, fourth and two. They're going to hand it off, and they got it. First down and ten. Right off the government plane could not defend that time. And that moves to James with 429 to go. That's always a bummer when you can't make a team pay on fourth down. Or showing their option heavy offense once again. They hand it off. Just going to get maybe one, maybe two. McLean, for the most part, has done a great job of really preventing the run. And they're going to actually uh, get about three on the carry. Ball is up to the 45. Highlanders looking to try to muscle out a win here. Ball sternly on the... One side of the M, the big M middle field, they're going to run it and get a nice gain out across midfield. So, ball will be spot out on the 50, and this will be another crucial third down for the Highlanders. 3.29 to go. Here it's currently, currently uh, 17 14 Highlanders scoring a big field goal before. But Marshall is threatening, almost into McLean territory. Marshall McLean looking for the blitz. They're going to hand it off, trying to get into the backfield. And now they're going to get the first down. But there is a flag on the field. And let's see if it's coming back. Number 23. And this will, I believe. And it, yep, it will. So Marshall. Costly mistake, but reps are first going to discuss this. Let's see if there is one. Highlanders, very motivated at trying to trying to get a big win tonight over Marshall. Their their second cross, their their lesser known cross town rival. And it, yeah, they're gonna move it back next week. The week the Highlanders will face James Madison. Here our our airtime will be at 6:40. Hopefully, unless several issues. Um, call us on Twitter at MHS Broadcast Network for more information on that start time. Highlanders kind of have a bunch of. Jumped up games so with the Eber going at home for a couple and then away for a couple. No one back and forth. Now here's the hand handoff. It's going to be a play action. Number five looking, trying to go downfield, and it is going to be not caught. And number five, the quarterback, Cal Meal, they moved out from number seven. Trying to look for a pass play, so it will be fourth and fourteen now. And the Highlanders make a big stop, and and now they're gonna go for it. It is fourth and fourteen. No, they are gonna punch. I mean, you don't want to give up field position here. 
No score so far in the third quarter, but it is 17-14 Highlanders. And almost getting to that. And this one, we're just going to allow them to bounce all the way to about the 15. So good punt for the statesmen. And remember, I mean, if you if you went to the game last year, McLean had a uh, had was about to lose it, but they did not decide to get the field goal. Instead, they went for a fourth down, and McLean ended up winning 2120. I mean, it's always interesting with these teams. I mean, this has been a close game, but some teams have better position than others. Looking for the blitz, they're going to come, they're going to get, find it, and now there's going to be, I believe, a flag, and they get it up, and it's going to be a first down. But let's see what, let's see what happens here. I think this one's going to come back. So, a penalty, and suddenly, the Highlanders, after our first down, it will remain. They're going to have it all the way back about on the 15th, no, to the about the 10 yard line. And it will be first and 15 with the Highlanders deep back in their territory. Talked about mistakes on the um on the field field, you know, costly penalties, and that's been the one of the uh, bigger stories tonight. tonight costly uh, turnovers and costly penalties. They do have their five receivers set. They take the low snap. They get the number nine, and now he's going to run. It almost runs into his own, and he goes out to about the 20. That is Koenig. Robert's the first name, the tight end. The Highlanders here. Now I have five receivers set. Trying to get some distance. They're looking, looking, looking. And he's just going to have to throw this out of bounds. Good coverage from the statesman, number 14, obviously. The quarterback, Fleisch. And we're talking here. They weren't sure they were going to start Carter Govan or Jonathan Fleisch. Fleisch did get injured last week. And... Govan did go for a touchdown. Here we go. Third and seven, five receivers looking for the blitz for Marshall. Good blocking, looking, looking, and he's just going to have to run away, run his way out of bounds. Good coverage for the Statesmen. So it will be fourth and seven. And they'll be forced to punt with 151 to go. No score in the third quarter, but 17 to 14. McLean, remember you can you can tweet at MHS Broadcast Net on Twitter. And we will be checking to see any responses, any anything really. If you want to comment on the game. Now here's a big punt, and they take it at the, at the 41. Good job for the Highlanders. By the way, the uh, Marshall is going from left to right, and McLean is going, excuse me, from right to left, and McLean is going from left to right in the first and third quarter. 141, Highlanders off by a field goal. Been kind of a trading of mistakes, penalties, turnovers, and lots of craziness. But it is a football game, and it feels great to be back. We hope we can make more of these great games and what's turning out to be a defense struggle here at number seven back in our quarterback for Statesman. He gets a couple, about three, and it'll be second down. Number seven, Harrison. Always up to four to excuse me the uh forty four yard line. Here we go. 
Second down, second and seven. They hand it off and they get him in the backfield for a stop. They hand off and they get in through the Highlanders this time. And with that option heavy offense, you have to know, have to know how to deal with that from Marshall. And it will be third and seven. I thought they got him for a loss, but either way, the Highlanders have an opportunity to make a stop and maybe get the ball back. Marshall is has, has had a fourth down conversion, though. Keep that in mind. They're handing it off, and that is going to – they're going to really run it, and it – Go for about nine or ten yards and first down. First down, statesman. As we approach 25 seconds to go in the fourth quarter, and this could be a deadly drive for the Highlanders as they need a stop on defense. First and 10, 19 seconds. Again, they'll run it, only getting a couple on the handoff, and with. 13 seconds, the clock will stop. As the refs blow their whistle, let's, something's going on. Let's see where they spot the ball. And I'm sure the refs are discussing something. And there doesn't appear to be a penalty. Or is there? I, oh, yes, there is. Another penalty and a costly one. We're going to say holding. Oh, boy, that is not what you need. Not at this moment. And that will move it down to be first and four. Or three, excuse me. Man in motion. The second man in motion. And I think and now there's going to be, let's see, a timeout. So, timeout on the field. A chance for the Highlanders to regroup. Uh, excuse me, that is the end of the third quarter. No score in the third quarter, but the Highlanders are leading after three. 17 14. No scoring so far in the second half. And the Statesmen trying to tie this game or get the go ahead. We move to the fourth and final quarter. We're going to step aside, mute the volume. You're listening to me. We'll be back in a minute. You're listening to your home of Highland Sports on the McLean Broadcast Network. Welcome back here to the McLean Broadcast Network. I'm Matthew Zwerb with you. Here's 17 14 McLean after three quarters, but Marshall is driving. They have first and four. 12 minutes to go, plenty of time, but no scoring in the second half, at least none in the third quarter. First down. First and four, they're ready, trying to get the uh, chain set. And we are ready to go. Here's the handoff. And they're going to get a whole chunk of yardage before being brought down close to 30. And right now, the claim, which has had some success in stopping the run, is seeming like they cannot stop. I mean, they hand it off, hand it off, hand it off for Marshall. And McLean both on the um, the 31 yard line now. No one in the back, actually one man in backfield. They'll hand it off. They're getting trying to fight for it. And he's still not down number 16 for the statesman. I believe so. Or 26. More rapper that is Holbert. Joshua Holbert with the carry. Second down, second and seven. Ball spot on the 28. No, excuse me, nothing. Yes, on 28. 
So we'll see if the Highlanders can get a crucial stop. They need they need something. They don't want a Marshall to take the lead. Here's the handle. They get the 23 and a missed tackle. And that could be caused with that's a first down. Number 23 with the carry once again for the statesman. But the Highland Murray and the Highlanders had an opportunity to make the stop. But Marshall, they are the unstoppable running train here with 10.56 to go. And the Highlanders are going to have to think about what are they going to do. And fresh shut down for higher defense. Here's the handoff. They're going to go on the option play, and they get him in the backfield. A good job, number eight there, the Highlanders. Rosemary, Wesley, and the Highlanders here get a very important stop, and it will be second and 11. That is a huge momentum for the Highlanders. So... We'll see what they can do. We. As a second 11, a couple of guys coming in to game for Marshall. There's the delay. 9.54 to go. Still a 17 14 lead for the Highlanders. A man in motion. They're going to hand it off. And he's going to get good serve. Very good chunk of yardage. The lead that was 20 sitting for Marshall. Oberton. And now the Highlanders will face third and third and four from, from the from their offensive 13th or 14th. Here's the handoff, and they're still moving a pile, and I don't think he got the first down. So the Highlanders got a big stop in question and two, they go for it. And it looks like they're going to take the field goal as, as the Highlanders here looking to, to maybe get a big stop. Here we go. A field goal to send the extra blockers in. And now there's Marshall. And Marshall will take a timeout to discuss this over. Now they've already gone, they've already were successful earlier, and it's not like the field position is that good. So it's not like you're risking too much. I think they're going to think about going for it, trying to take the lead, which honestly would be a smart decision. But McLean. If they're going to need a stop, they're going to need now. The question is, do you go for the tie here with 8.43 to go? You're probably going to get the ball back if you're Marshall, but you just don't want McLean, which has had some considerable success, you know, out there. So we'll have to see. Ball is on the 12-yard line. Marshall says their offensive unit back on to the So field. they're going to go for it. And to be completely honest, I'm not too surprised. Both sets of fans. This could be a very crucial play in the game. Instead of their offenses, they're running. They three to go. Here we go. The stadium is shaking. They're going to hand it off. And I don't know if they got it. Let's see. It's going to be close, obviously. And it is going to be a first down, I think. Yes, it is. First and goal. Is it? Well, I'm going to see. First and goal. So, yes, it is first and goal. Excuse me. I thought it was going to be closer than it actually was. So, Marshall trying to take the lead. They're Two for two, they on fourth down. They have a man at play action. They hand it off, and he's down to about the five. You know, if you're the Highlanders, you just gotta wonder how much time you're willing to give up. This has been a huge drive. I mean, with eight minutes to go here, 
in the fourth quarter, I mean, you're going to have to get four stops, honestly, to stop this team. Man shaking. Here we go. Second goal. Ball on the floor. Play ready for anything. He's going to hand off, trying to go off the middle, and he's going to get stopped around the two yard line. It's really impossible to see who they're handing off to. For the, on the for Marshall State's men, it's hard because they got a billion guys in there. Highlanders, I mean, you got to know fatigue's a big factor. So if you're the offense, you're going to need a one. You're going to need something. Ball is on the three. Third, third and goal. Ball on the three. Three yards down. They're going to hand it off. And it's going to be number seven. He's going to go for a touchdown. So go ahead, score. McLean catches it wrong. And number seven. Harrison. And so they take the lead. It's 20 to 17. comes the field goal try and that's up and it's good the highlanders here for the average foul with 701 to go still playing in time the highlanders coach saying this is your time you know you wonder about fatigue although a lot of these guys do play both offense and defense we'll have to see Highlanders trying to avoid going over two. Marshall beat them last year, but this is a classic close game. Marshall three touchdowns, McLean two touchdowns, and a field goal. This is a critical drive with 701. You want to keep these guys on the field and get a touchdown. That's because a field goal would not presume. So here we go. Number eight, Rosemary, back to return. Highland, Highlanders looking to try to work here and maybe you get a win. Thank you for tuning in with us and Matthew's work here. As the field, as this one goes high and deep into the end zone, we take out by Rosemary around the 10 to about the 20-23. Thank you for tuning in here on Matthew's work here your, your official and only home for McLean High School sports here. Football, basketball, baseball, soccer. It's all here on the McLean Broadcast Network. Appreciate your time because of those of you who couldn't make it out here to the game. By the way, if you're tuning in with us, um, tweet us at MHS Broadcast Net. And tell us where you're tuning in from. We would love to hear from you. Here we go. Five receivers. Two to the left, three to the right. Here comes the blitz. Fourteen's going to step up. And it's going to be an incomplete pass. Number 51 for the Highlanders. The intended McCoos. I believe. And he's part of that offensive line. So, second 10, the Highlanders. I mean, they, Marshall's done a great job on coverage. They're going to have to find something. Low snap, picked up. He's going to throw. And I'm double my caught. Oh, man, a great catch by number five for the Highlanders. Joseph Shue. Nice catch. So McLean able to get a five yards. Thanks to Shoes. Nice little catch fumbling around the air. Here we go. And then it's going to be dropped on a bad uh, pass. But number 13, Patrick Dolan, the receptor. The one, um, and he was trying to go for it. So it's going to be fourth and five here for the Highlanders. And I think they're going to go for it. 
Since 44, you don't, you can't get your team back into this game. I mean, this is it. Number, I believe number. Uh, they have one man in the backfield. This is a critical fourth down. Fourth and five. Marshall hyped up. Here we go. Fourth and five. For the Highlanders. The snap is low. They're going to hand it off. And he stopped. So it's going to be a turnover on down. And the Highlanders defense is going to have to do something. I mean, I the, it's kind of the snap was a little low. And then, I mean, you hand it off to try to see if you can get something. But that did not work. Oh, here we go. Well, under six minutes to go, and they're going to hand it off and get a good amount of chunk yardage. McLean's got a, with 6.30 to go, they need a stop. They cannot allow a first down for Marshall because, I mean, they can afford. They killed him for a field goal and go for two or do something to tie the game. Marshall fans, very excited. They're going to hand it off, and McLean is able to get the, the stop about close to the about the 16. It will be four from one. And I think uh, they're going to see what they're going to do. They're two for two on fourth down. I mean, it doesn't Yeah, They're going to keep the offense on the field. McLean, here we go. This this is definitely more likely for the game. No, wait, excuse me, it's third and one. So McLean, they need a big stop here. But this is a huge one. Number seven, they're going to look. They're going to try to get there. And Harrison... And I think he's going to be close. And it's going to be, look at, I think, yep. Are they going to measure? It's going to be a first down, they're going to say. I'm surprised that they're not going to measure. But it's going to be first and 10 with 15, 518 to go. I mean, the Highlanders, at the most critical time, their defense is not making stops that they need to. Danger of going 0, 0 and 2 for a team that had so much promise at the beginning of the season. And now the handoff, and they're still pushing the pile. That's going to be a five yard pickup down to about the 10 for the Statesmen. With 444 to go, I mean, there's still time, but you need to at least hold them to a field goal. You cannot allow them to get a first down. So this could be a big play here on second down. They they got to not allow a gain. I mean, because you know they're going to go for it for most likely on fourth down, although they might bring out the field goal unit to make it a little bit harder if McLean Sword is having to go for two. They're just going to push the pile, see where they mark it. 4-11 to go. It'll be third and third and about two. Now third and two here. So the Highlanders here with 405 to go. I mean, this is a big game. This is a, I mean, obviously a bit of a rivalry between these two teams. The statesmen trying to make a make the this game be a little bit more prevalent, make it a bit more of a chance for a Marshall win. They're gonna hand number seven. Oh, take it! He's gonna go and they score. But there is a flag on the field and a touchdown. The 
and the Highlanders got a huge break. They get the break they were looking for, almost a touch on number seven. The quarterback, Harrison. And it's going to be, I believe, against Marshall. But no, it's against McLean. It's a touchdown. And that, with 3.42 to go, that might do it. The Marshall fans going crazy. Remember last year? Obviously, a frustrating game right now. I mean, not getting the stops when they need them. Turnovers, penalties, sliver hope there, but it's 27 17. About to be an 11 point game if they make the field goal. And the Highlanders. If they want to do something, which is going to be a long point game, they're going to have to. I mean, there still is time. It is a long point game. But the Highlanders right now are going to have to drive down the field very quickly and then get the onside recovery and either kick a field goal or get a touchdown. The game is not over, but right now, with them doing all the scoring in the second half here in the fourth quarter, it's more looking like this, and I mean, this is frustrating. The Highlanders trying to get a big win. And right now, they're going to need a miracle. We have seen them. Wouldn't that be nice? And we could only summon that. That would be great. So the kickoff here, the Highlanders trying to. They're in the penalty. Will be enforced on the kickoff. And this one probably will be a touchback. The ball is set at the 45. Rosemary back. He might be looking to take this one. He would love to take to the house right now. Here we go. 342 to go. 28-17. Marshall McLean. So we have to lead one before Marshall scored two touchdowns. And they're gonna watch this one go for a touchdown. Touchback, excuse me. So 342 to go. 2817. Stick around to the end. It is a high school football game. You never know what could happen. Oh, I'm looking over at the crowd. No one has left. And it's definitely four down territory. Five receivers out now. Empty backfield. Marshall looking for a blitz. They're going to look around, looking, looking, waiting. He's going to throw out field finding number 38, and they get out of bounds at about the 35. I think that was uh, uh, number 88 with the reception for the Highlanders. Dowdy, Kane Dowdy, and now there's a down statesman. Number 17 for them. The statesman, that would be number 17. Or Marshall. Excuse me, it's number 47 for Marshall. And that number belongs to Ian Sweetie. Sweeney. So be at score on the, the field on its own power. And that is always a good sign. So the Highlanders here have a first down, 334 to go. And you figure, I mean, this isn't a this is a big opportunity. They can still make this a game. Um obviously the circumstances of what they have to do now. And you talked about missed opportunities, not being able to complete drives, and the defense not being able to 
to do anything. Blitz coming there, number 14. He's going to throw an 88 again, and he's taken down maybe for a one-yard pickup. Clock is running 3.4, 3.3. Highlanders, I mean, they're going to have to go deep at some point. They're going to have to outrun everybody. Back up to the line. It's line here. Here we go. There's the snap. Tough man blitzing. He's looking. He's going to throw one. And it kind of gets out of his fingers. And it'll be third and eight. Two-yard pickup for number 88. I mean, he's looking deep, but the ball kind of slipped down. Went for an arc on the far side of the field towards Marshall. Marshall is 0-1. McLean is 0-1. Langley is 0-1. And it's Friday Night Football. Here we go. 3.06 to go. Third and eight. Highlanders. I mean, it's four down territory here. Number 14. He's going to scramble. He's looking, and I think he got the first down. And that's huge for the Highlanders. What a play with the feet. Jumping place. They move the change. And South the clock, 2.59 to go for the Highlanders. Here we go. Five receivers set. Once again, Bliss is coming. He got the number five, but he wasn't ready. But you really need to go longer. I mean, something's going to need to give you. The Highlanders need a big play with 2.51 to go. They're only – the ball is on the 46-yard line. Here's the snap. Looking. Back, he's going to throw, and it's intercepted a high throw. For Patrick Dolan, number 33, he's down to the 40. Inside of 40, 39, 38. And unfortunately, that might do it. A high throw intended for Patrick Dolan. Unfortunately, the Highlanders are looking like they're going to fall. The 0 and 2. Not what this team wanted when they talked about having a new attitude. And Coach Flair, he's going to have to go in that locker room and they're going to have to revalue the new weight themselves. And Marshall will be 1 and 1 here with 241. It's going to take a miracle. There is a penalty on the flag, on the play, but. I mean, right now, this is possibly the way McLean's defense has not been able to stop it. It'll be about first and 15 ball is on the 45-yard line. Remember, you're tuning in at 640 here, here as the Islanders take on James Madison and the Warhawks. We have a 640 air time for that one. Oh, number 76, he's going to go and get almost close to a first down. 39 the to about the 39 yard line. The fans starting to thin. Um, thank you again for tuning in to this one. We hope that you come back. Oh, it's spotted on, excuse me, the uh, 42 yard line. And Marshall, they're just going to be looking probably to run this block out here. A first down in that. So we'll see what. McLean can do next week. And as they're going to give it up, and it will be a first down. Some of the fans starting to fall out, although most have stayed and got to give them credit. And giving credit to Marshall fans, I mean, student sessions really shown up today in numbers, just like McLean. So it will be a first down and 10. Ball being spot, I believe, on the 40-yard line. No, it will not. I believe there's a penalty. Marshall living it up on the other side. They are really liking it. Again, our airtime for next week will be 640. We hope to have, have you all back here for the second. For the second home game, the Highlanders, um, obviously, I mean, they need to reevaluate themselves and 
Marshall is definitely a team they could have beaten. I mean, about the same level. I mean, they are uh, definitely, definitely need to do something because this is a game that they need to win. And with 153 to go, you know, first and 10, see where they spot the ball. Um, you know, there will uh, definitely need to be, they're going to. It's going to be on the 41st first yard line for Marshall. But, um, I mean, definitely the Highlanders at times did move the ball. At times the defense was good. But towards the end of the game, they weren't able to produce. And that's where you need it most. Um, so we thank you here on the September 11th, 14th anniversary. The handoff taken will go up. Almost towards the 35, a good job by Marshall. With 120 to go, and they're just going to. Now, they take a timeout. Somebody's taking a timeout. I think McLean is. And, or maybe it's a war break with 119 to go. And huh, that's, that's the kind of surprise, you know. I mean, Yes, second and three, but I mean the likelihood of coming back is zero. So very interesting. So remember to follow us on Twitter at MHS Broadcast Net. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter. We thank everybody from tuning in today. Um, thank you for Mr. Belly, Mr. Patrick in the activities office. Special thanks to those two. Special thanks to Principal Riley. Uh, special thanks to Coach Blair for really helping me be able to get the information that I need to make this an effective broadcast. Um, thank you for, you know, being able to, uh, um, to be able to, you know, deal with our issues at the beginning. We are really hoping that we're going to have a, another great broadcast next week. Here's the handoff. It'll be a first down for number 26. It'll go to the 24-yard line on the 26. Holbert with the carry. So 28-17, 114 to go. First down. Down here is Dan starting to foul out here. A lot are leaving, obviously, but... I mean, it, it, when they started out quite good, they moved the ball effectively. They came back from an early turnover. But as we've seen in the second half, it's when Marshall's ability to move the ball. Here, they're going to take a knee, running down the 48 seconds to go. One more knee will take care of it. But it'll be, it was Marshall's ability to run the ball, and McLean could not defend. And also Marshall had terrific pass coverage. And, I mean, you got to give the Marshall student section credit. They're starting to file out here. And they are saying, na, 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 goodbye. And I think these fans are, yeah, they're going to charge the field. I mean, and now a little bit of a scuffle. But there's definitely a, uh, a bit of a rivalry between these two teams as this game is over here. Remember to, to come. Well, maybe they're not going to charge the field, actually. Um, obviously, um, good sportsmanship. You know, you want that to always win out. And McLean, they're going to have to do a lot to – um. That's the handshake line. Always good to see. Marshall, I believe that we won chant. McLean 0 and 2. Marshall 1 and 1. Thank you so much for tuning in. Here, remember for next week, here we are back right out here at 640 against James Madison here at home. As Marshall will go to celebrate and a big win for them. The showmanship, Marshall, and they're living it up. You know, the crowd fouls out. Well, it's been a great broadcast or inaugural game. Hopefully, the Highlanders can get a, another win. I'm Matthew's worth signing up.
You've been listening to the McLean Broadcast Network, your home and only home for all things McLean High School sports. Congratulations to Marshall who win 28-17, the final score. Goodbye, and we will see you next weekend. That's Friday.